it's going to be difficult to catch a Lisa and a Fizz and a Talia, who have a fair amount of mobility as well. But let's find out what TSM can do. They've got that traditional tank. They've got some grouping power in this five-man squad. Yeah, was he Svenskern on Kha'Zix? He failed against SKT because he lost his flash early on and then still went for familiar gank patterns. That left him flashless and obviously with no escape. He does have the opportunity to gank both top and mid lane because both these laners bring their own crowd control effects to the table. That is absolutely necessary if you want to get those ganks off early with Kha'Zix. How good is TSM at shutting down the 1 3 1 setup? That could be put into play by WE yeah. with Fizz and Talia in respective side lanes. I mean, it, it's something that I think you can answer with the Rise somewhat, and Galio can definitely hang on. I don't think that he's an easy champion to actually dive, uh, but they will probably lose pressure as the game goes on. Yeah, lane to lane mobility has been uh, a strategy like in the last year, you know, with Tom Kench and Rise compositions. Galio Rise compositions do something similar too, especially if you put their. Uh, the core unit, the three man in the center, Rice can always join from top to mid, Galio can join from bottom mid. However, the last time TSM played 1 3 1, they were having issues getting Hanser uh, to the fights at the right time or getting the four man squad to play passive, waiting for Hanser to get pressure. So that's something they hopefully have refined for this game. Well, let's see how much pressure Hanser can apply as we load up for the last game here of day three. It's Team WE from the LPL taking on Team Solo mid from the North American LCS to set the scene once more. Two wins and three losses. The first stage of the round robin is wrapped. Pretty clean play from both sides. Honestly, standard as well. We're looking for something to break the mold oh, here. Oh, Spencey's Condi here. All right, a lot of damage down. Tastes Condi's fear. No ultimates yet. Condi's also got a level advantage. Leap forward. Flash out from Bjergsen. Gets the Rune Prison. And Wild the first coming over too. Look at the seismic shove and the unraveled earth. Shia gets a reply back for Team WE. This is getting messy. So far, it's a two for one. Haunter with a TP advantage. He gets a justice punch to Mystic's face. In the back end, Ben is running low on mana. He's already flashed in. So is Bjergsen. There's no more matter for an overload. Looking for those autos. A big shield from Ben, just enough to escape under the tower. And TSM get a three for one. They are, and they are up, you know, a little bit in farm, but uh, so far so good. You also do have to worry a little bit about this Ash initiation because the rotations can come down with the Rise ultimate, and you can set that up pretty well uh, with the Ash. You can actually mess with the Talia. If, if the wall comes out, you can walk towards it as wall turtle, and then here they go. He's going early. All right, where is Bjergsen? He's trying to come into the Realm Warp. Ben may be dead already. Realm Warp's going to deliver Bjergsen into the bottom lane, and he gets the kill secured. Mystic Rune prisoned up, but there's not enough damage. Team WE want to reply. They close the door on Wild Turtle, Bjergsen, and Biofrost. There's a little bit of support coming in from Svenskere behind the wall, but Team WE, they can't find the CC or the damage. Yeah, and they have the safety with Kha'Zix there, who can jump in on anyone who moves forward. So TSM covered that play very well. So they're actually first to roam bottom, despite losing their Booba. All right, 957 going very forward onto Hornsa. Chum the Water's still available. Urchin Strike comes out. That's a W2 and for a massive damage. The shark and 957 with a great solo kill. That's great to see. More respect being given here by the two respective teams. WE and yet another invade. But this time, Sven Skerrin jumps onto Ben. Sven's immediately exhausted. And Condi follows through the resonating strike. Gets the first kill. A heroic entrance. Hansa lands on Bjergsen. Gives him the damage reduction. But Biofrost is being chunked out by 957. Chung the Waters going to be negated by the Wild Growth. It doesn't matter. 957 gets another kill. Team WE even it up. And escape for the ultimate for Bjergsen. Ace in the hole. Not going to kill Hansa yet. It. Condi's looking for the sonic wave, misses the shot. And Wilder is nowhere to be found. He only just entered this fight. This was a complete collapse on the bottom side. As Zale pointed out, the turret was low. WE was three man rotating to make a fresher play on the turret. TSM sees this, knows this, willingly commit to the fight and end up losing. Challenge the Fizz. Yeah. Because he can just itemize just magic resistance. He's going in again. All right, Bjergsen's going to get caught out. Chum the... Whoa! Oh. He just got eaten alive, sent back to the Void. That said, you know, this is a kind of a team fight composition for TSM, so you have to feel like to get back to this game, they need to get some sort of fight. They need to get him on the run, and maybe they can use a teleport ward in the bottom lane that's being placed right? That control ward. I see Trevor, like... Waving his fist in the air. You too saw that ward, right, Trev? I did indeed. Condi's been caught up by the enchanted crystal arrow. 
moment, Biofrost Wild Growth will not find a target to knock up. Ah, TSM. beautiful. Now they're going to get closed off from the mid inner. Yeah, you lure him to the bot lane, but it's a trap because 957 is setting up the secondary wave. WB is constantly playing on at least two lanes. That is the main mistake teams have made at this tournament when they play 1v1, is that they make the map too tiny. They have the Galio. The heroic entrance comes down by some time for Sven to escape, not before he's burned alive. Wild Turtle forced to flash and heal his way to safety. WB get the tower and a kill. And with Flash down on that AD carry, TSM can look to posture around the Dragon because that does make the Caitlyn much more vulnerable to something like that Realm Warp setup or the Kha'Zix plus Galio yeah. combo. Kha'Zix plus Galio is the winner. All right, Condi and Mystic, they get knocked up by the Wild Ghost. Svenskone is exhausted once again. Mystic survives. Still hasn't finished that Infinity Edge, but is putting down a lot of hurt onto TSM. Bjergsen gets one with the Rune Prison and the Overload. Finds a double kill. Turns back towards Shea. Horsa, unfortunately, doesn't connect to the Justice Punch. And 957's running for his life. The Dragon is the focus for TSM. And that was exactly what they were looking for. They don't get the kill on Mystic, but he's pushed out immediately because he has no summoners. So great job by TSM, capitalizing on that back, getting a one fight, and the Dragon buys them another lease on life. Vision that Team WE are trying to set up around uh, uh, a Baron buff, but look at the ultimates. Team WE have them all available. Unfortunately for them, they don't have the teleport, which Hornsa will get shortly. Yeah, and the big thing here is TSM want to try to play this slowly because they have global advantage. So WE is just starting up the Baron. This could be risky, though. They have the Kha'Zix Galio combo. Where is the engagement? Turtle! Why oh! is Turtle in front of the rest of the team there? That is a question we've asked TSM many, many times. Fence Scaring gets caught by 957's ulti. Heroic entrance and now Condi's in trouble. Both going low. The junglers are going to kill Sven Skerin first. Off to the right of your edge. 957 and Bjergsen are trading back and forth. Hornsen flashes for a few seconds longer. Gets shut down by Condi and WE find three kills. TSM as a team fail at basic mathematics. They see three guys in the pit, meaning there's two of those missing. They were in the brush that Turtle approached. Guess what? It was the Karma and the Talia. He walks on a knockback not using Flash, not using heal to get out. He drops, and so in that moment, TSM's hopes vanish completely. I mean, TSM had WE in a good position. Team Solomita holding for a few seconds longer. Got the cannon, though. Yep. Little ball here. Yeah, it will eventually. Condi's looking for a target. Power goes down the back end. Condi gets cut off by his own teammate Weaver Wall. A little over eager here from Team WE. They're in a five on four situation, and Ben is a sacrificial lamb. Team Solomid get two kills, but they lose another turret. And that's great, but I mean, Hauntzer can't stop 957 by himself in a long fight. So TSM have to move back up and threaten this, but that gives WE the chance to move right onto the Baron, and TSM have to react to this now. To get in there, it's 7,000 gold, 6,000, 5,000 dropping fast. Round Warp will deliver Bjergsen next to Wild Turtle. Ash Arrow catches onto Mystic. Insta QSS. He's managed to back away. 957 coming line. in the back. 957's got Chum the Waters. It's not going to find his mug. It catches Bjergsen. Bjergsen goes golden. Thanks to the Hourglass. So it's scared. The Torment Now 957. He's forced to go low. Guardian Angel is uh, available to him if it goes down. Idol of Duran was used by Haunts and nobody has died yet. She is running away. Third Body goes down. Somehow, Wild Turtle dies on the side. 957, it cost him his GA. The troll pulls to safety. Sven Skerrin tastes his fear. One for one. Top laner for ADC. He's now going to be the target of Team WE. Sends out the Void Missiles and leaps away to safety. Flashes on cooldown so Sven can't use it. She is rock surfing with the passive here. Very important to catch him. Sven Skerrin was looking for a cheeky play, but the redemption hero play. Heroic for entrance is actually going to send Hornsa into the wrong side of the map. Now he's behind five members of Team WE. Gets a four-man taunt. Jackson's on the flank, looking for Condi. Hornsa's running for his life. Biofoss is trying to fight. Team Solo Mid try to engage, but they're losing their members' HP left and right. A killing spree for Shie as Hornsa goes down. Wild Turtle's a target for 957. He's going to hop forward, looking for this uh, Urchin Strike. Uses the minion to taxi and Wild Turtle manages to escape. For his backline, as Galio hit that multi man taunt, Svenskrin is still dead right now. I love the way Shia controlled the fight. Birchu could never get in, even on the flank, because Mystic was holding him there. Such an incredible job by Ben, stopping that base. And this is likely going to be a WE Baron. Can they get more? Birchu's actually. On the side, then he's got a flash available to 957 jumps in. Bjergsen 
uses his hourglass, Weaver's wall, looking to cut off while Turtle, in fact. No, he's jumped off to catch Biofrost. I'm looking at the mini-map, and Biofrost survives a few seconds longer. Here comes Wild Turtle with the help of the blast. Team Solo made it, what was a 3v5? Opted to not really challenge Baron, stick around too long. And now Team WE did barreling down this bottom lane, Weaver's wall, to cut off any sort of defense. And the tower's knocked over. And you have to feel like TSM needs to engage right now, and... WE knows it. We'll see if they can actually absorb this and get out. Realm Wolf is going to deliver Hornsa into the back line. He gets an idol of Duran Torn. Condi gets interrupted by the Wild Growth. That was a good job by Biofront. A heroic exit from Hornsa. The is still sitting on the side, but Hornsa is already down. Sent Scarin forced to flash defensively. Wild Turtle, the damage is dead. So is Bjergsen. The captain goes down quickly after. Team Solo mid are routed in their base. And the LPLs, Team WE, take down the Nexus turrets turn their attention to the Nexus and they gain revenge, defeating Team Solo mid. And what a game from WE. They look so strong here despite falling down in the early game, always playing to their win conditions. Shi Ye was so big on Talia, not only the team fight zoning, the use of the Weaver's Wall to secure turrets, and this was just a great, safe, and high percentage macro game from WE.